Hello, 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 and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Capricorns, I'm going to try to keep this under 15 minutes. I'm just going to just... <laughs> it seemed like when we get together, Capricorn, we just have a good key key and we, it, it starts extended. So let me... I'm going to I'm a try... I'm going, I'm, going, look, I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes. If you haven't had a chance to watch Sunday's video, go back and watch Sunday's video, Capricorns. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's see what your cards have to say. If it goes over 15 minutes, then oh well. <laughs> let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy Motivational Monday. This video is for the 3rd of April through the 3rd of May. Okay? 3rd of April through 3rd of May. So you got some questions that you can kind of sort of think about for this week leading up to this full moon in uh, Libra and it's a pink moon, right? So I talked about the, the, the color pink and that kind of thing and the significance of the color pink and how source gets messages through everything. Lots of signs and wonders all around us. So let's see what's coming up for you all. Let's see what's coming up for you all. Let's see what's coming up. All right, two of cups, four of cups. We also have the ten of cups, the nine of cups. We also have the queen of swords and also the chariot card. Mm -mm. So the chariot card... And this is interesting because when we're, when we're getting ready to, um, this, this represents uh, efforts, rewarded, victory, and that kind of thing. And by the way, I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, even if you're on the cusp of Sagittarius or on the cusp of Aquarius, or if uh, Capricorn is your MC or IC, if you don't know what that means, then go to my second channel. The link is below. It's called the Knowledge Channel. So, but somebody is really kind of, you know, somebody is somebody from your past really wants back in Capricorn like what the heck it could be a cancer um cancer Pisces or they could have cancer Pisces or um Scorpio somewhere in their chart but somebody is starting to realize that you were a pretty good catch <laughs> like duh <laughs> somebody somebody is starting to um See, that's what I, the, mm, mm, mm. you know, people be learning too late, right? And I know people be learning is not proper English, but, you know, English is not my first language. So, but you got, you got what, what I'm saying here, right? Anyway, people learn after the fact, like it's all of a sudden things are like a bell went off in somebody's brain. Ding, 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 ding. Capricorn was a great catch, but Capricorns, if you all don't hear anything else I'm saying, do not go back. Do not go back to that. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Because back there is a bunch of confusion. That's why you could be sitting around thinking about it. Remember, God would not deliver uh, chaos and confusion. God will not create doubt in your mind. That's not what God does. And we're talking about most high God, right? The devil would. The devil will have you sitting around ruminating over things. Am I making the right decision? If God showed you, gave you the message, see... What some people think is a as a soulmate, somebody could you don't know what's in their cup. But if you confuse after you drink what if you gave them, let's look at it this way. Let's look at it this way because right now everybody's in the mood for love, agape love. That's in your friendships, family relationships. So everybody's feeling a little color pink, right? The color pink, romantic, you know the rose colored glasses, feeling in a good space. And that could mean your exes are starting to wake up out of this zombie five state, even though they spiritually dehydrated you. Or if you're in a relationship with somebody right now who is spiritually dehydrating you through their manipulation, you could be thinking it's a soulmate energy, right? Or you could have thought it was a soulmate energy until your inner child felt vulnerable and unprotected, right? It's like handing somebody, like you, you're giving somebody access to your house, right? So I need you, I gotta, gotta give you these like third dimension um, examples. Let's say you invited somebody into your house, right? You gave them a cool drink of water or room temperature drink of water. And you that water is filtered. You know it's clean water. There's no dust particles in it. It wasn't like you had it sitting out overnight for the dust in your house to, you know, that invisible dust to just drop into the water. You got this right out of, you either open it up out of a bottle you know, it's, they can, they can trust the water that you've given them. That's the creativity. That's your emotions. That's fertility. That's your wide, healthy range of emotion. That's your joy. But what they returned was when, as soon as you took a sip of that water, something didn't taste right. You were used to drinking your own pure water, but when they gave you something, something didn't seem right. 
that looks like a lot of times confusion. The author of confusion. Remember, the devil is very crafty. It looks like confusion. It looks like you got to fill in the blanks. It looks like you got to keep running to God. Well, what does this mean, God? I'm not really clear about that. I'm not really sure, right? It looks like um, it looks like a lot of things, right? It looks like now I got to go be detective. You know, I got to I gotta go figure some things out because this person is, I, I feel like I'm not getting what I need to get in all of this. People are starting to pick up from your past that either either love is coming your way or you're ready to settle down. Like something in your spirit is like, I'm ready to settle down. Even if you're single and you don't want to be married, something in your spirit is settling. Like you get crystal clear because not everybody wants to get married. Not everybody wants to be in a partnership. Something in your spirit is very clear about protecting your own inner child, um, Capricorn, to a point where to other people on the outside who are, they may have had access to you at some point. They may think that you feel like, you know, you at it and don't even buy into the manipulation of somebody thinking that, okay, I used to know you when, okay, I don't even live in that house anymore. So I don't care who you knew back then. Maybe that was me when I was, you know, you know, letting certain things sit in my soil, but that's not who I am today. I'm crystal clear about what I want versus what I don't want in my life. Right. And so that's why you don't want exes coming back. That's why you want to completely close out cycles, block numbers, block email messages, text messages, get rid of pictures, everything that's connected to them, because that's for source. Source is saying to you, even if you don't want love in your life, your, your soul family, your soul circle, your soul tribe, your soul community is exactly, they're giving you that fresh water that you would give to them. Hopefully that makes sense to you because confusion is of the devil. It, it's, it's, the devil is the author of confusion. So you can be in a relationship with the person and still not know. They could, And if you're an over-nurturer, you'll make excuses for them. But source does not ever want you to get down off of your throne. Because the moment you start making excuses for somebody where you feel like you're not, it's not reciprocating. I'm talking to men and women. Let's be crystal clear. The moment you step down off of your throne to meet them on their frequency, first of all, you're not their Jesus. You're not their living water, right? You're not their savior, right? You're not their God, right? When you step down off of your throne and you start making excuses, well, they got this going on, or they could be seeing somebody else, or I'm not really sure. That right there, that's all you need to know. You don't need the physical. And I know, I know as an earth sign, you all earth signs, because that's that root chakra energy. The earth is connected to the root chakra that deals with physical existence. So in your mind, you may feel like I need to hear somebody say something or I need to see something. If you do say, God, take me to the closest route. Let me show me directly. You know, even if it hurts me, show me what I need to see God and then give me an exodus strategy out of it. So I don't, I'm not hurting too long, but somebody has dealt with master manipulators. It's like you're handing them fresh water and you know, you're giving them all of you, your authentic self. And what they're giving back is confusion. That is not healthy at all. Because that'll sit in your soil and everything else in your life. Again, remember I gave you guys the, you know, like the analogy of, uh, you know, planting seeds, fresh seed, you know, seeds that you want to grow. You're speaking lovingly to those seeds that you want to grow. You're watering them with the wa your water, your pure intentions and all of that stuff. It's like them coming up along and just pouring clear poison in your thing. And you're wondering, how come my seeds aren't growing? How come my money is not growing? How come my business isn't growing? How come I'm not getting that many calls for my gigs? How come my... My dental practice isn't growing. How come my, my mental health practice isn't growing? How come my law firm is not growing? How come, you know, I'm not getting the promotion? How come I can't remember my dreams? How come, you know, clogged up, right? And so that's what toxins will do. It'll clog, toxic energies will do. So sources say to somebody is that your efforts are being rewarded. You're really, you are... So don't let somebody from your past or somebody in your life that's sending you a bunch of mixed signals... Get them out, remove them, remove them immediately. Because somebody's thinking about like, wow, you know what? Because in their mind, they're still in a state of confusion. They still, they, see, oh my God, I can't even make, <laughs> Woo, I can't even make this stuff up. Here's the moon card right here. Somebody from your past wants to read, this is you, regal. I'm talking to men and women, right? Don't pay attention to the physical body. But now you're just like, you're in this just really high um, 
high frequency space. You got clarity of thought and here they come. They want to, they want back in when they overwhelmed you. See what they didn't realize is that you cried over them, that you lamented over them. This used, where's the card? This used to be you. Sleepless nights, got a headache, you itching. You, you're not sure what's going on because God was sending you breaking out in, in hives and losing hair and gaining hair in places. I mean, you know, growing hair in places you didn't want to grow hair. I mean, just had you all out of whack. Here we had the um, Empress card. And so the Empress card lets me know that um, somebody is wishing, somebody from your past kind of wishes they were able to procreate with you. Like, or they wish that things were different with you. So this is, this is, this is many layers. Okay. So this could, um, here we have high priestess energy, right? So somebody from your past in terms of, cause the, the, um, the moon and Libra is speaking to all relationships in your personal life. That could be romantic personal life. It can be family, personal life. It can be whatever friendship, personal life. Right. So I'm, I'm speaking through like various parts of your life. And then also in your personal life. So there's some people from your past who overwhelmed you in the workplace and people in your personal life that overwhelmed you from the past. They want to gain access to you again, right? Because your wishes are being fulfilled. Here we have the nine of cups. Wishes are being fulfilled in your life. So there's a lot of people who are wishing that they had a do-over in your life. And this is you right here. Happy, charismatic, and free. Um, you know, you're inspiring a lot of people. Um, you are, when people, when you walk into a room, your energy kind of lights up the place. And because Libra is a divine masculine sign, first of all, you attract people anyway, right? But because this, you, you're now in this masculine energy and this, this Lib Libra is a sword energy, by the way, that sword represents your power and your intellect. So you're starting to think about things from the past and in that thought, when you go back down memory lane, that's how they're able to come back in because, and so you quickly come up out from that frequency. Like you don't sit on that, like, you know, wonder why I start all of a sudden start thinking about so-and-so because they're thinking about you. They're, they're wondering, you know, some of them are, some of your exes that you have completely closed out are some people who know they're about to be closed out of your life for good. Like you're about to really close that thing out airtight. They are... They know they not. They know that their spirit isn't right for you. They know. They know that they're not. They know that they are not on your same frequency. So they don't really have anything to talk about. You you all know what I'm saying, um, Capricorn. You know how when you when you're um, when you know that a friendship is about to end. There's that like that uncomfortable silence on the phone, like mm, we used to talk about, and now I'm drifting off thinking about because I'm on a different spiritual journey, and we're not even some of the things that they used to they're still talking about. You're not interested in, and you try not to be rude. Uh, don't let it get to a point where you where you you are so emotionally drained because you've dealt with such manipulation in the past that it comes across as like your soil is dry because that that actually hurts you. Remember, you planted soil for your. I mean, you planted seeds in fertile soil that you watered with your own water, and that air. <clears throat> excuse me. That overthinking it is air, right? And if you put fire to that. It's like somebody putting standing over a garden with a blow dryer or blow torch in this sense and just, you know, causing this soil, this fertile soil to become dry even faster. So that's drying up your own creativity. That's drying up your own um, um, emotions. That's drying up everything. It's drying up everything that you planted in those seeds. Right. And then you're wondering, how come my seeds aren't growing? How come it didn't crack through the through the um through the the seed and why didn't it start sprouting up through the soil because the soil is dry because you're overthinking something do not let exes back in they're ex for a reason i don't care who they are this, this mm -mm. nope if we ex friends you stay on that side i wish you well i don't wish you any harm and i wish you i wish you thrive but for me i'm moving on right so here we have the page of wands so somebody somebody um 
there's some new motivation coming across your path, right? Especially like if you have to travel back, let's say for instance, so some of you all have relocated. If you have to travel back to where you used to live and, you know, ex people are trying to come back into your life because all of a sudden they see creatively, you know, you back in, you know, you feel nurtured. That's why I talk about making sure you're listening to your sacral chakra music, taking your spiritual shower, spiritual baths, um, because it's almost like you're, you're double attractive now. Like your people are, don't be surprised if you go to stores and people are paying attention to you, you know, they're, you know, extra nice to you, smiling and winking at you. <laughs> Like, you know, what's coming to mind is the Alicia Keys song. What was that song from back in the day? Her song when she was like where uh I remember the video where the where um most of death. I know he has he goes by a different name now. When he came into the coffee shop or whatever, and she gave like gave him a little extra this, a little extra milk in his coffee or whatever, that song, right? It's like people are paying more attention to your energy and they're being a little extra nice. But I don't I want you to take that with a grain of salt because you attract good energy anyway. But I'm telling you, something from your past is trying to resurface. But it's, they, they know that they're not on your frequency. So don't waste your energy is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't don't even waste your energy. Don't don't waste your energy. And if you're currently with your soulmate, certainly don't mess that up. Because they will also be able to pick up on that as well. Because we, as we get closer and closer to a full moon, um, everybody's intuition becomes even more heightened. Even more heightened. So even more intense. So... Here we have the King of Cups. We also have the Queen of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and also the Princess of Cups. All right. So this is what Source is trying to surround you with. Trying to surround you with harmony, peace and harmony. Trying to um, surround you with other creatives. Trying to um, surround you with other people. So if you're an artist, that's what Source is like putting you around different creatives. People who are open-minded. Who People who they may have different... Um, um, sexual preferences, or they may, you know, come from different backgrounds. It's like trying to put you around some more colorful people, not for the purpose of like trying to, um, harm you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, but it's more of like they're pouring fresh water into your cup, fresh, the same kind of fresh water. So that's like somebody's like iron sharpening iron. So if you're a creative in any way, shape, form, or fashion, source is saying to you, um, this is going to, this is going to help your creativity just kind of sort of explode. So they don't have a problem giving you good information because if you go back to an ex, that's self-sabotage. If you entertain a phone call, a text message, an email, or any of that, or even if you're currently entertaining somebody where you feel like they're manipulating you and you don't close that out, it's self-sabotage. It's just like literally putting yourself in a straight jacket and wondering why nobody's coming to help you because you're the only person that can help you. You're the only person that can save you. So I see you having a great deal of compassion for people, but I do see you just going ahead and closing out cycles. You know, I, I hear somebody in the spirit saying, bless their heart. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I hear with somebody saying in the, in the spirit realm is bless their heart, but you got to move on because you're going to start remembering this too. When you go back down memory lane, you're going to start remembering how you couldn't sleep you know, how you were stressed out. And so, like I said, there's some family members you don't talk to. There's some ex-husbands, ex-wives. There's some ex-boyfriend and girlfriends, ex-partners. You on, you on a lot of people's minds. You're on a lot of people's minds. But you better use this wisdom. This is King of Cups. You better use this wisdom, Capricorn. And it's not like anything bad is going to happen to you. The enemy, like, just, just so somebody doesn't go down that road and like, oh my God, I threw myself into a karmic cycle. So that's not going to happen. That's one. And then the two, the second thing is, is that when you know better, you're saying, okay, God, give me an exodus strategy out of this. This thing is so strong. I know I'm, I'm dealing with a master manipulator here. We have the princes of cups, you know, send some new energy across my path and give me an exodus strategy. Exodus strategy sometimes looks like people won't pick up the phone to call you. So you didn't, you didn't have to think of a script to say to them when they called you. Sometimes an exodus strategy means that a person will break up with you. You didn't even have to do it. All you just like, whoo, God, thank you. I can turn off the water faucet. You know, I can turn off the waterfall. They broke up with me. Thank you. So only thing you would have to deal with in that case is, or, or thank you for me finding out the information. That's the information I needed to move on from something. Because the only thing you would have to contend with really is, is your ego. You know, I feel like I wasted my time. But remember, it's God's time. God allowed you to stay in something to increase your creativity. 
That's why somebody is going to write an amazing novel because they were manipulated by their own family members. That's why somebody's going to write an amazing song or become a better chef or become more creative as an artist in whatever art form because of the manipulation that you've dealt with. That's how that's how some of the best songs are written because you dealt with some just some people on a different frequency, right? And so as heartbreaking as it is, you go into that studio, tears running down your face and you scribbling on the notepad and, you know, saying all kinds of stuff. And now all of a sudden that creativity is just like burst wide open. So you just want to stay on the high vibrational side. You can remember the past, but don't go back to it. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Here we have the emperor card. Here we have the hermit card, the nine of swords, the knight of uh, swords, the two of cups, and also the six of swords. Somebody is dealing with a very arrogant energy. Like what the heck? Okay. This uh, nine of swords. So we got the eight of swords and the nine of swords. So, okay, sword, the sword energy, y'all, hold on, let me see if you can see. Okay, see this sword right here? See how it has uh, sharp on both sides? Like, it, it's like a double-edged sword, right? It cuts both ways. Somebody is so arrogant that they would never admit to how they hurt you. I mean, yeah, how they hurt you. This is several people, not just one, by the way. All they know is that they're trying to just, I mean, you, somebody, mm, somebody is dealing with somebody with some... Problems. That's all I'm gonna say. Problems. Here we have the hermit card. In your in your um, in your hermit mode, um, source is saying to you um, on your spiritual journey, go within. Go within. You all are already receivers as it is, right? Hermit is also one of your sister signs. Go within when it comes to thinking about somebody who may have burned you in the past, who had a very bullying um, energy. It could be fire energy. Who, you know, one minute you felt motivated, the next minute you felt emotionally drained, right? And um, and so, and so you, you felt emotionally drained. And so sources like look for the answers within. So the questions that you're going to be asking God is, God, show me who it is and give me an exodus strategy out of it. I don't need any confusion for where I'm going because somebody's circle is changing. Somebody's soul tribe, soul circle, soul family is changing. Your soul community is changing. Like they, their soul is connected to yours. It's like somebody you've known your whole life. Like you don't, you know, you are aware, you know, because of what you came out of, but your, your circle is changing. And so somebody, God wants somebody to get real, you know, real serious about moving forward. Because I'm seeing your efforts being rewarded because you're not going back to the past, but people want access to you from your past. And so sources say, no, they blow torched you, leave the bridge burned. You don't have to be upset with them. The only reason why God is bringing it back up in the spirit, because family relationships are, uh, are like on full display right now because we're coming closer to a fully illuminated moon in a, in Libra and Libra is a, is is ruled by a feminine planet venus and that deals with relationships it deals with art music um agape love erotic love you know pleasure in all forms that kind of thing and so that's why those things are coming back up from family members ex-friends whomever a lot of people want access to you so if you think about if a name comes across your path you could be brushing your teeth you could be in the bathtub anything with water is kind of sort of you know, bringing certain memories back, toss their name into a fire pit and say, source, thank you for letting me know. I'm not delusional. I'm not going crazy. I need to just toss it into a fire pit. I wish them the best. I'm sending out now into the universe in love. I only want love to return, like pure love from source to return back to me. Here we have the two of cups. So somebody knows that either somebody knows that your circle is growing. Somebody knows that there's a whole new community out there for you, you know, that's helping to help you with your creativity and help you to, like I said before, um, you know, with your money. Here we have the Knight of Swords. They still in fight mode. See how this person had their, their hands up like this? That person's still in fight mode. And so you're not even, you're on a whole different frequency. It's like, wh who said that? I'm a lover and not a fighter. Whatever a boxer says, somebody said that. Like that's, you're on a love frequency. You're on this love high, like agape love high. You're not even in fight mode. Like somebody is constantly in and you got away from them. And so sources like keep on climbing to the top, 
Here we have the six of swords. Just keep on climbing to the top. So somebody is not looking back. Somebody is going on to dry land. Meaning when I say dry land, well, we're talking about fertile soil, but we're talking about you're getting your root chakra back in alignment. Once you remember who wants back in your life, it's because you were victorious over something that they try to do to you. And you may not even know what they try to do, but all you know is that source brought their name back up in your spirit for a reason. And what they try to do is, like I said before, is like, you know, basically they're being ruled by their own demons. And we know that the devil is the author of confusion. So they were just trying to get you to a lower frequency, go back down memory lane, trying to prove a point. You did this to me. You're not even, like I said, you're not even on that frequency. You're on the frequency of love. That's God's frequency. That's where you are. And so overthinking it would be like evaporating your own water, your own creativity, your own joy, your own happiness, your own. You don't even have to overthink this. Do what works best for you, and you don't need them to close out your cycle. So you don't need their toxicity in your water. The devil card. We have the tower card. We have the hangman, the world card. We have the two of wands and also the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Devil card, page of pentacles, the tower card. Here we have the hangman and also the world card. So this devil card, um, this devil card represents fear, doubt, some kind of obsession, some kind of um, something like somebody just like obsessed with something like you're going to you're going to have to keep learning the hard way until you don't want to have a tower moment. People keep trying to tell you, stay away from certain people. You're you got your creativity has intense. You're you're attracting other people who are also creatives. And so somebody could be looking at you as like, oh, they're attracting, they're in this place where they're making more money. They probably met this person. They probably met that person. They're connected. So it's just saying to you, you got fear and doubt about anything, close it out, airtight, liberate yourselves. Your, your, your time in their life has been fulfilled. You saw everything you needed to see. God has shown you everything you needed to see down to the ghosting, the gaslighting, the narcissism, the one minute you hot, the next minute you cold. You blaming everything on your cycle. I'm talking to uh, men and women have cycles. Everything living has a cycle. You blaming everything on something else. So it's just like, don't be afraid to go ahead and close out the cycle. Move on because it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. It's already coming up in their spirit because somebody's going through a tower moment. That's why they want to, it's like they, it, it's crazy because they're going through karma that they created. They're going through things that they created for themselves. And to some degree, it's almost like they're trying to use you to make it right. You can't make it right because you're not their God. So for somebody, you could be dating somebody and, you know, one minute they're, one minute they're warming up to you, but the next minute they're cold to you because they may have somebody else on the side, right? And so that's being exposed. And so, and you ask questions, author of confusion comes in, the demons, Oh well, you you you're doing this, you're doing, or they just stop talking altogether. That's a that's another manipulative tactic. They just don't say anything altogether, trying to make you seem like you're, you know, you're overthinking something. One minute, you know, you're you're the best thing since sliced bread when they're getting what they need from you. But when they when they when you're asking questions, all of a sudden it's a problem. So. It's a lot of people know, a lot of people look at this right here. This is a person who has the whole world in front of them. So I see somebody as being wildly creative in their cards, somebody who is, and that creativity is going to make somebody a lot of money as well. So I do see some, some new information coming in about how to make money. And you have to decide when you want to get off of a, this a merry-go-round, but you're not delusional. You're not going crazy about some things in the past. Some people want to come back in because it's either you or somebody connected to you. It can even be your child that's doing, you know, that's doing big things or just creative. And they're starting to see some money starting to come in. They can see it in the spirit realm. Even if you can't see it in your bank account, they can see it. Right. And so source is saying to you, just hang in there. You're not going crazy. You're not losing your mind. You're just learning how to process things, right? Remember I was telling you all before, Capricorn, if people are trying to rush you to try to process things, you don't need them in your life at all. You need time to process things. Here we have the, the two of wands. So I, like I said, I see travel on the horizon. I see you meeting new people. All sorts of blessings are coming your way. Lots of blessings are coming your way. So don't let people force you into making decisions about things when you're not ready. Because they see they see blessings coming your way because of your creativity. They see the connections, you know, that you're making. 
They see the connections that you're making. So yeah. There's some people, like I said, some people from the places that you used to work at that try to manipulate you and gaslight you and run smear campaigns behind your back. This is them now. They can't sleep. This is them lamenting over things because they're, they're going through a death rebirth. They're going through a rebirth. They're starting to understand, wow, I really messed up. There's some people in your personal life that's going through the same exact thing. They have no more access to you. So God is showing you you know, through, through different ways, you know, whatever portal is open, that's how God is showing it to you. And so all you need to know is the past is in the past. Somebody sees your back is straighter. Like you're, you like, you're walking taller. You're more confident. Um, you're wiser, your, your compassion, and they're hoping to get in any, any kind of way they can get in. If they can get in at your sacral chakra, and that's developed between the ages of um, eight and 14. If they can get in through your emotions, trying to appease your, you know, your emotions, they can get in that way, or they can get in through any kind of manipulate, you know, any kind of, they can come in through the water. They are hoping you'll take a phone call from them. They'll hope they're hoping that you'll look at their, their, You're looking at their social media page. They're hoping, you know, that, that you will entertain conversations because somebody said, Oh, did you know I saw so-and-so they asked about you shut it down. I don't even need to know what they asked about. <laughs> I do not care. I don't care. I don't care. Don't care to know none of my business. I'm I'm living my best life. I don't care. Let let them think whatever. I don't care. So again, so I'm saying wish fulfillment. So it's a lot of things, you know, during this pink moon, this full moon, you but you wishing on something, you know. Tower moment again. I'm telling you, people in your personal and your professional life, they going through something. But they put that energy out there themselves. They're, they're the ones that put that energy out there. Your main thing, like I said, source wants you to not be afraid to go ahead and close out cycles. Source says, do not be afraid to close out cycles because, oh God. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Um, okay. So that's all. This came out twice. So when we look at the hangman, this is where, you know, you're sacrificing your old self. This is where you like kind of sort of sources like hang in there. You're going through a rebirth. You're sacrificing who you used to be. Some things are changing, right? And so that old self is who people are trying to return back to the person who they were able to easily gaslight and manipulate you. But the person that you are today, they did not, they did not bank on the fact that you either have earth angels that's teaching you about signs and wonders and colors and numbers and tarot and all of this other stuff. They never, they never factored that you could be watching my channel and other people's channel. They never factored that you went in. You were like, okay, God, I, I, I need you to, you know, and we know that God answers prayers. When you start saying to God, give me an Exodus strategy, like expose it, even if it breaks my heart, expose it to me, but then immediately give me an Exodus strategy. They were not counting on you seeing them throw the rock behind their hand. They weren't they weren't counting on that. And so again, you don't need anybody to close it out. Sources just hang in there with yourself. Like bet on you. Hang in there with yourself. But if somebody was wishing this on you in the physical realm, we we don't or or the the death of your gifts or like that your career would end. Because it's a lot of people from your past, they never thought that your career would take off. So they were the ones that were sitting there when they could have helped you, shaking their head no. When people try to say, well, you know, I sure would like to work with someone. They're sitting there shaking their head no, but smiling in your face. And see, one of the things that I'm, oh my gosh, one of the things that I'm seeing too is, because um, some karma is like, karma is, karma. when I say karma is spinning the block, karma is not playing at all. Like karma is like, all you hear is like, <laughs> I'm not laughing at anybody's karma. I'm just laughing at what I see in the spirit realm. You know how people's tires be screeching like, skirt, like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm laughing because I'm seeing the, uh, the character of Medea, right? I'm seeing, you know, like Medea was in this uh, really long or like old time car. Like, you know, when cars used to be made of like that real thick metal, like, they can get into an accident with an 18 wheeler and everybody is safe. Like, you know, the car is like not a, a dent or a scratch on the car. It's like somebody, it's like karma. It's like karma pedal to the metal and spinning somebody's block, like coming straight for their front door. 
And depending on what they sent out, because somebody really did not want you. They were trying to distract you creatively. It's like they signed. It's like they, where's that card? Somebody signed a deal with the devil, right? So <clears throat> let me give somebody a picture. Somebody could have signed a recording contract and the people on a label wanted to work with you. This is just one example. This could apply if you were a doctor, a nurse, law enforcement, attorney, doesn't matter what your profession is. Somebody signs some kind of written or verbal agreement with somebody else. And all of a sudden people start, it wasn't even all of a sudden, they're like, oh, you know Capricorn? Oh, I would love to work with Capricorn. So people are saying nice things about you, but they signed it thinking that their body or their um their influence in some kind of way, shape, form, or fashion was going to influence things, but it's backfiring on them. Things are not happening the way that they thought they would happen for them. And see, when you sign a contract with the enemy, that contract is for years beyond this realm. And so that's why... I'm not gonna say anything else. Here we have the page of here we have the page of cups, the page of cups. Um, but yeah, I, all I can see is karma and that that long that long car <laughs> pedal to the metal. That's the remember. I don't know what. Well, we have various ages that tune in um, to the channel, but remember when um, the steering wheel is like it turns all the way around like. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Multiple times. Like the way that I just see karma come flying up the street. Like people are just jumping out of the way. Like just like, you know, like you see in those movies where people are like, oh my God, where did that car come from? Like this car is like spinning out of control. <laughs> that's how, that's how, that's how this is happening. Things are not happening, you know, in a lot of people's lives who try to blow, you know, who try to bring death to your careers, who try to bring death to, you know, and like I said, depending on what kind of energy they sent out into the universe about you, that's coming back to them. It's coming back to them. It's coming back to anybody that's connected to them and things are not going well. And this is the direction you're headed in. This is the direct the direction you're headed in. So yeah, why wouldn't an ex want to come back into your life when you're focusing on legacy wealth and your family and you know and and protecting you know your 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 creativity and all that kind of stuff? I'm telling you, karma never misses, and karma is no joke, no joke whatsoever. Because the way I heard, with the way I could see them, all I <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Whew. All I can see is smoke coming from those tires because your ancestors are fired up. Your ancestors are fired up. You hear me? I mean, they are fired up. They are like, my baby is down at your, this is what, this is what I'm hearing. Like somebody's grandparents or whatever in the spirit realm, is like my baby is down there trying to break generational ch chain cycles and curses. And how dare these, I mean, they're like using words like monsters and monkeys and orangutans, like these wild animals. <laughs> Somebody's ancestors are a trip. Like, you know, they would have been like really fun in this realm right here. Like they just no cut cars. They would just say whatever came out of their mouth. But um, somebody's ancestors are angry at this point, and, and God gave them the green light. You're divinely protected on both sides, but somebody's ancestors are upset. They're like, you know, all kind, anything could happen. I mean, I'm seeing, mm -mm -mm. see, sometimes I can't even tell you what I'm seeing in the spirit realm because it's, it's not funny in a sense that, because of course we don't want anybody, any, we don't want any harm to come to anybody. Not, at least on, on my channel, I don't want any harm to come to anybody. But when people understand how karma really works, that's why you don't, that's why you don't have to be stressed out about stuff. You really don't because it's the energy they're sending out coming back to them. So I, I just, mm, mm, mm. if I told y'all everything that came to my spirit, oh my goodness gracious. The, I just see somebody like, mm, all right, let me, let me, let me move forward. Let me just, let me move forward. Cause whew, when I say you divinely protected, it's like, it's like this. 
Okay, you're standing right here in the middle and on both sides of you, Capricorn, it's like these, like you got these protective shields, like angels' wings. And we know that the how angels really look. That's not how like they describe, like people, the pretty pictures of the big wings and all of the other stuff. The the way the angels are described in the Bible are pretty scary looking. They got eyes all over the place and just whatever. But you got that, you got, you have angels surrounding you and protecting you on both sides, both in your personal life and your professional life. So when I tell you all hell is breaking loose and, and the people who are wishing you harm, somebody better keep your name out their mouth. They better be speaking highly of you. They better be saying everything they say. They better say, you know what? They are creative. You know what? I, I didn't say I sure would love to work with them or I sure would. You know, they better be shaking their head. Yes. They better be shaking their head. Yes. Because see, look, if you give them an opportunity, if you, if, let's say for instance, you know, um, God allowed you to walk into a room and you in the back, you're, you're walking behind them. Let's say God, let's say they're, they're talking to a person in a position that could help, you know, increase your fan base or your numbers or pour more money in your pocket or whatever. Let's say God says, okay, go to so-and-so's office at such and such time. And the person can't see you coming in because their back is to the back, their back is to the door and you walking in. And the person sees you coming in and they're like, okay, the person is trying to tell you, hey, this, don't trust this person. You thought this person was your friend or you thought this person was such and such. And you walk in and the person says, okay, I'm going to show you. You know, you may not want to believe it, but let me show you. Let me say to the person, let me say to the person, hey, you think we should work with Capricorn? And the person shakes their head no. And you walk in and see it. It could be devastating for somebody because, again, when we talk about that color pink, that's that also rose color glasses. And if it's being for if those glasses are forcibly being taken off, because now all of a sudden you see something you didn't want to believe in, you didn't want to see you promoting them on your channel, you're you're going all out, you really truly their friend, and whatever the case may be, and you're seeing something that's that person wants somebody, it's like God wanted you to see that, but you're still divinely protected, and you just back on out of the room. You you're like, okay, I saw what I needed to see. Like you may need to sit with yourself for a minute to like, wow. I can't believe that this person, but then you start to think people were trying to tell me people were trying to tell, I guess I needed to see it for myself. Same thing with, you know, you know, an ex, same thing with somebody who may not, you know, who you may be in a tricky relationship with right now. You know, they, they being, they think they being slick and sneaky and, but source, if you add, all you have to do is ask God, God, show me, show me what I'm not seeing. Show me who is ask this. God, show me who is blocking my dreams. Show me who is blocking my creativity. Show me who's blocking my money. Show me who is blocking my joy. Show me. Show me everything. Show me anybody that's blocking my sacral chakra. Say that. God, show me who's blocking my sacral chakra. And then give me an exodus out of it. Just like that person I just showed you when I said, you know, somebody that's sitting in a big chair is talking to somebody you thought was like, you know, had your best interest at heart. And they're sitting there shaking their head. No. And here you you walk in there and you see it and you just, you know, back out. You just just kind of you don't say anything. It's like now I know I don't need to say anything about it. I just I got the information I needed to know. You're not going to sit there and break down. Oh, my God, I thought we were friends. And why would you do this to me? And, and I would have never done that to you not saying anything. You're not saying anything. Blindfolds removed. There we go. Two of swords. Blindfolds removed. You saw everything you needed to see. It's something about when source shows you. It's different than when somebody else is spreading rumors and talking about people. That's why I don't believe all of the third party information or whatever. It's like, God, you show me. Because you're going to show me the full picture. And then you're going to also allow me to see it from a compassionate standpoint where I'm not angry. So when I walk away from something, I have compassion, but I can go ahead and close out that, I can close out that cycle and I can move on with my life. Cause obviously somebody, somebody does not want to see the truth and some energies around them. Right. But source is about to make somebody booked and busy, lots of duties and responsibilities booked and busy, but being around energies that are manipulative for whatever reason, maybe they feel like that's how they were able to get on top. But that's that's built on shaky sand. That's not even built on solid ground. Remember, you got to get make sure your root chakra. So if they start in that sacral chakra with manipulation, they building it on sinking sand. Source is trying to make you build something on solid ground, sinking sand, right? 
Here we have the temperance card. So you definitely have guardian angels watching over you. Yes, yeah, somebody who died is watching over you. And they, they like Medea. It could be a man or a woman or a man and a woman. Or it could be several people. But Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of ancestors here. But I'm telling you, all I see is screeching tires. They're coming around that corner. They are not playing. So again, we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups came out in reverse and it also came out upright. So this is where the confusion is because you're getting like, you're getting a lot of messages. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know which way I should go. I'm not sure which road I should take. That's where you see this right here. This person is sort of at a crossroad. I'm not really sure what I should do. Go straight to the master. Go straight to God. Straight to God. God, I need clarity. And when God shows you, that's all you don't need to hear. Another word out of their mouth. God, show me what I'm not seeing. Make it so crystal clear to me that there's no and, ifs, or buts. That's when God exposes something. There's no question. God shows us in such a clear way. There's no confusion. But when the devil, when you're dealing with flesh, there's not necessarily clarity, right? Because the devil doesn't have the full picture that God has, right? So here we have the three of swords and also the two of pentacles. So the three of swords for somebody, once you find out something, it could be deeply disappointing or even maybe even heartbreaking, but source is going to immediately come fast come through because you are a very hard working size and give you some another way to make additional streams of income additional streams of income but like i said you victorious it's uh where's the card yeah some people some people that had access to you they don't have access to you anymore your your reward your efforts are being rewarded that's what trying source is trying to tell somebody it's like you put in the hard work you are being rewarded your heart is in the right place You've been focusing on your creativity. You haven't let you have not let people, you know, steal your joy. You're, you know, planting your seeds. You've been listening to some good counsel, all of that. So source is saying to you, just stay in that frequency. Stay on that frequency of love. Stay on that agape love frequency. You're not wishing anything bad on anybody. Because again, even if you wished bad things on them, that would just come back and hit you. So keep that, keep that frequency high. Keep that because you, like I said, business about to be, you know, booming. I see traveling for somebody booked and busy. You know, you're focusing on your legacy. Who has time to vibrate at a low frequency when you're dealing with master manipulators who signed a deal with the devil and then trying to block your creativity? That thing is coming back and hitting them so fast. They don't even know what's going on. And see, I don't care what they, what they look, what their face looks like. They could be smiling because seem like they're in a good space, but there's the, the, the things that they have to do for the devil is like, have faith in your dreams. That's right. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. See, here's the thing too, right? This is so multi-layered. When you are around a lot of master manipulators... It can be confusing. It's like, you know, swimming in, uh, swimming in waters where sharks are and you have on the goggles, but you can't see anything clear until you've gotten bitten. You know, like, you know, you see those movies where people are like, oh, my God, I didn't see Jaws coming. <laughs> I didn't see Jaws coming. But this time, Jaws can come up as much as Jaws wants to. You're divinely protected, right? You know, just that, that shark nose will hit that plexiglass and just swim off to something else because you're divinely covered on both sides, your personal and your professional life, right? There are some people that are really waking up to like, one of the things that I'm seeing for you all is that people are starting to wake up and say uh, about you is that I want to be connected to Capricorn. Like I really, I want to work for Capricorn. I want to work with Capricorn, like in my capacity. So the, the, the king or queen in them is like, you know, talking, see the king and queen in you. They're starting to respect you. They're starting to really look at, well, you know what? I can see why now Capricorn has been set apart from a lot of things, both personally and professionally. And so people want to be associated with that. So when I talk about being in receiving mode, people know that you, you feel stronger. You have that sword in your hand and you will use your sword if you need to. That's the, um, that's the, uh, this full moon in Libra. And so sword energy represents power and intellect. So if you're using your power and you're using your intellect, you're not using it for evil. Like some of these people who signed and dealt deal with the devil did. And now everything is just like all topsy turvy chaotic. They have to sleep with people. They don't want to sleep with. They're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to, you know, do things, some strange for some change. They're having to, 
you know, they're under certain, some people are under contracts where they're not getting it paid as much. So they're going to have to, it's like somebody's like dangling their money over them. They got to do this and do that, you know, like really putting them through where this energy is. They're putting them through some stuff, right? Where you, because you have been in receiving mode and because you are learning how to return back to pure consciousness of wisdom like you were when you were a child and everybody told you to stay in a child's place, you're returning back to that. And so source sees your effort. And so um, everybody is clapping and cheering and very proud of you. Here we have deep breathing. So source is like, just take some deep breaths. You, you've always been headed in the right direction. You just had to kind of learn some things like you had to. You know, you know, you had to you had to unlearn some things and you had to relearn some things because when you got that much manipulation around you, it is like you swimming through, you know, um, like muddy water. You really can't really see who is who you can't see. You can't see, you know, who threw the rock and hit you and hid their hand with a smile on their face. You can't really see But sources. You don't have to worry about any of that individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. And so you had to learn in a way that source wanted to make sure you knew it came from source. I'm telling you, with all of this creativity and wealth coming across your path, the people who are supposed to be in your life won't ask you for a dime. They won't ask you to connect you with these people or that person. They will let you do it if it's if God places it on your heart. They're not, they don't want anything from you but to see you win. So that's what source is saying. So a lot of people that that mag that magnetism that I'm seeing in your cars. There's some people who just want to connect you. They want to connect you with people. They, they want to be a part of your circle. They want to be sitting at the table with you. They want to be sitting at the table with you. So, whew. Mm, mm, mm. When I saw those tires screeching and I saw somebody coming around that corner and the spear around, whew, that thing made me laugh. Anyway, let's see what else we have. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's put your number. Let's put your, pull your, um, your number card. Let's pull your number card. Again, this is a general reading. So take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, you know, hopefully you get everything you need out of this general reading so you can save your money. But if you want a personal reading, my information is down below 1212. I am focused. Somebody may even see that on their clock or see it pop up on, you know, on social media or whatever. This means I am focused. So 1212, stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. It's a lot of people that's not going to make it to the other side. That's why they're scrambling and scraping now. They're trying to figure out, you know, how can they manipulate their way back into your life? But see, those cracks in your foundation are sealed off. As God sends information to you, you've been receiving messages from God. You've been receiving fresh water from the true and living God. That's what you've been, that's what you've been receiving from through your dreams, through people who, are, who you know don't have an ulterior motive. You've been receiving messages through your feelings, downloads through your skin. You've been receiving messages when you take baths, drink more water, spiritual showers, sitting you know near bodies of water working out where you're flushing out all the toxins you've been receiving messages directly from source and so um when they come through trying to pour something in your ear gate and your eye gate trying to make you jealous or play these little silly mind games and also these energies will let you know if they have an issue with people who are trying to help you stay focused because it's like they're directly in in competition with them Consider the alternatives. So consider the alternatives. That's your next move. Consider the alternatives. So again, just don't be afraid to ask source. Source, show me everything. Show me, show me who is, show me who is throwing my sacral chakra out of alignment. And then give me an exodus strategy out of it. Somebody could be in, you know, with a sex demon. Somebody could be with somebody who is very insecure. They could have many demons because we're talking about the devil here. And you know the devil will be dispatching his demons all the time. So somebody could be dealing with somebody who has multiple demons. Demons of insecurity, demons of instability. Their career may not be going so well. They may um, they may be disloyal just in their spirit. You know, thinking I got to hold on to several people while I'm holding on to Capricorn and throwing you, you out of alignment. So now you confused. 
Anything that's in your life that's confusion, source, give me an exodus strategy out of it. Here we have all um, the affirmations for focus. I am devoted to a clear mind. That's what we're talking about, clear mind. You're receiving messages directly from source, total clarity. The devil is the only thing. The devil and his demons are the only thing will, that will have you confused. I take action toward my highest goals. I am confident in my abilities. I release distraction. I get the important things done. I am organized. I am in control of my thoughts. That's it. That's it. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I, like I told you, I try to keep it under 15 minutes. Don't look like we did that. <laughs> but that's okay, too. I really try to keep it under 15 minutes. But, but you know, happy Monday to you all. This is what you got throughout this week. That's what's happening. As we get closer and closer through, um, get closer and closer to the full moon in, uh, in Libra, that big pink moon. Some of you all have been sending me pictures of your, your moon pictures. Thank you. Um, um, you, you're a start to be almost like though you're asking God is like, if I'm, if I'm looking at things through a rose colored lens, you know, remove it in a way where it's not forcibly removed, where I'm traumatized, but let me see what I need to see so that I can keep dreaming bigger. So I can, I can operate in forgiveness. I can operate in agape love, self-love. I can operate in that space. Like, but don't rip the glasses off where I'm forced to see something I'm not ready to see. Show me in a way where I don't, you know, I don't mess up my own legacy. That is what I have for you. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.